This is the Office Memo, a podcast about podcasting for entrepreneurs and business owners. If you want to differentiate yourself from your competitors and bring your marketing to the next level, you need to start a podcast. We will give you tips on creating the best possible podcast for your business so you can reach those potential clients and set yourself apart in your market. This memo you will definitely want to hear. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Office Memo. Today we're talking about video podcasts and I'm going to give you three ways to add your podcast to YouTube. Everyone is talking about video podcasts at the moment because YouTube is rolling out a podcast page. At the moment of recording this episode, it is available to a certain number of people in the US, but they will slowly go global with this feature. YouTube is the fastest growing platform for podcast listening. Even if your target audience is not on YouTube very often, it is still worth it to add your podcast there. If you use the right keywords in your titles and description, it will make a significant bump in the discoverability of your podcast and your brand. In an earlier episode, I already mentioned that if you want to add video to your podcast, it needs to be of good quality, especially if you use your podcast for your business. You need to be presentable, The background needs to be professional and the video quality should be good. Listen to that episode after this one for more insights on how to use both audio and video to your advantage. For today, I want to give you three ways you can add your podcast to YouTube for the best results. Number one, upload the audio file accompanied with a static image. Create a clear image that is YouTube friendly in, for example, Canva and find a software tool to make it into an MP4. I use a website called addmusictophoto.com. It's a free service, but please do donate because it always works like a charm. This way of video podcasting is great for people who are using YouTube to find podcasts to listen to while they do other things. Obviously, the engagement with these kind of videos is not that high. But as I mentioned before, it is great for discoverability if you use the right keywords. Number two, add audiograms of under a minute as a YouTube short. When a clip is under a minute, it automatically becomes a YouTube short and these are well looked at. For those of you that don't know what an audiogram is, it is a snippet of the episode together with an image, an audio waveline, and most of the time, including subtitles. Canva is again a great way to make your own YouTube short. You can find a template or create your own and add your MP3 to it, and voila! You can't directly upload it to YouTube, but you can to TikTok, Insta, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Number three, if you do an episode online with a guest via Zoom, Zencaster, Riverside or any other platform with video capabilities, you can upload these videos as they are, but you can also add a few extra bits. If you mention graphics, you can add them as a visual. Also, make sure you clearly state the name of your guest at the bottom of the screen throughout the video and not only at the beginning. From these guest episodes, or if you record your solo episodes on video as well, you can again create snippets for other social media channels, but also for the purpose of a YouTube short, if you keep it under a minute. Lastly, make sure you create playlists that clearly define the audiograms, the full episode with static images, and the full video episodes. Create thumbnails to accompany the full episodes that attract attention and use the right keywords in your video titles and descriptions. Many thanks for listening. We hope you liked the episode. If you want to start a podcast with our assistance, please feel free to contact us at info at 
Until next time.